Hi GP learners and welcome to another episode of the eGP Learning Tip Thursday. I'm Dr Gandalf and today I'm going to be covering more about how to use social media as a clinician. Specifically, we're going to look at using Twitter and the anatomy of a tweet. What does that mean? Well simply I'll be talking through how you'll be able to tweet somebody, how to retweet somebody, in order to share information, search for it and who to follow more specifically and also we'll answer the question, what on earth is a hashtag? as well as a few other hints and tips. I hope you find this useful. It's part of our series and make sure you check out next week's where we look at using Twitter as a clinician more specifically and also the guidance that comes with it. Um, as always, comment, share, make sure you check out the full videos on YouTube and on our Facebook page or check out the blog. As I said, comment, share, keep EGP learning and make sure you tweet me afterwards. See you later guys, bye. Hi GP learners and welcome to another episode of Tip Thursday. On this episode we're going to be talking about some concept called the anatomy of the tweet. Why? Well as a part of our ongoing series looking at how to use Twitter as a clinician, I think it's important that you understand how Twitter works and also how to send a tweet and what that can mean. Uh, when you log in for the first time you will be presented a screen that looks like this which is your news feed. To be clear I'm now using the Twitter website rather than the app purely because it allows me a bit more functionality um, but a lot of the icons are very similar. So as you can see, we've got this kind of like home bird box kind of icon in the top left that brings you straight to your news feed. Um, and it, this is basically a list of all the various different things that you are following on Twitter um, and how they look. Um, so I've got tweets from uh, various different people. Um, you sometimes will have sponsored tweets and um, promoted kind of images and that kind of stuff. Um, but this is basically a list of all the various retweets and tweets of people that I already follow. You can also see it's got information as who to follow and trending now. So this is related to the search aspect of Twitter, which if we go in more detail, this is what it looks like. So as we can see, um, first thing that we've got is the trends. So this is the common and popular hashtags. You can set this to be based on location. So mine is currently set to the UK um, trending topics. But you can set that to wherever you want in your settings. Um, and as you can imagine, well, we're in the midst of Brexit. So Prime Minister's questions, which is currently happening, um, yeah, as you, quite high up on the trends at the moment, as well as Wednesday Wisdom, which is a common hashtag used on Wednesdays, are the ones that are worth keeping an eye out for. Um, Friday, fo uh, follow Friday, sorry. Um, and as always, uh, Thursday um, uh, motivation and tip Thursday. Um, lower down, we've got what Twitter calls it's what's happening, which is its moments section. So this is to more collate recent news stories that aren't specifically related to a particular hashtag, but are newsworthy. So, for example, we've had um, a Harvard professor saying you should only eat six French fries per day. Yeah, right. Um, and as well, we've got the Captain Marvel trailer um, news information that's just the debuted because this leaked um, over the weekend. Um, and you can then have more specific things. For example, I live in Nottingham, so I've got Nottingham News. It's also got information about who to follow, and Twitter's really good at trying to suggest who you may want to follow. And um, that may be based on your previous follows and, and that kind of stuff, but it will always try to suggest more. If you look at the notifications tab, which is the bell looking icon, so this is where your tweets and tweets around you are collated. So as you can see, I've had a few of my tweets that have been liked, which is the heart icon, or that have been retweeted, which is the green arrows in a circle kind of thing. Um, so retweet is when someone's seen something of mine and that I've put out there and they've wanted to retweet it because they want to copy it over to their news feed. Um, liking it just stores it in a separate area, but does also bring it across into your um, kind of uh, notification tabs as well. And then sometimes you can look at twit tweets themselves. So for example, if I was to click on Dr. Sonali Kinra's tweet, I can see that um, this is relating to a Twitter thread that I was involved in last night, people after it, people before it, and you can see the original tweets to see what it looks like. Um, this is an interesting part to look at, I think, in terms of various different things that can be impactful. So one of the things that you can do on any tweet that you can see, you can expand it. Like, so this is one of my own. Um, you can reply by clicking on the speech bubble icon. So that will send a reply to that particular tweet. And it will also put in the, ha the names of all the people that are already in that thread. Useful. And one of the newer functions of Twitter is that doesn't now count towards your word count. The other thing you can do is retweet. So the green arrows. And it allows you to do two different things. You can just retweet it as it is, or you can retweet with a comment. So what that means is that you can add some extra words on top. So by clicking on that, I can now say whatever I want to in relation to that. I'm not going to add anything because it's a bit weird quoting my own kind of stuff. You can like the tweet with the heart icon, or you can do various other things. For example, 
um, you can send a direct message to the person that sent that tweet, or you can add that tweet to your bookmarks, which is an alternate place that you can store tweets. Or you can copy the link if you wanted to put that in some other format, say, for example, an email or Facebook. Um, the final icon you've got at the top is the um, uh, direct message icons. I'm not going to uh, click on this because this will show you personal messages I've had with other people, and I don't think that's fair to show them their messages to me. It's the one that looks like a little envelope, but useful to use. Um, Twitter's big on search, and you can search for a variety of things. So, for example, we had to search for Dr. Nikki Kanani, um, who you may know is our current interim director of primary care for NHS England. Um, and then you can see their particular profile and see who they're following. Um, how many followers they have and various different organizations and their bio and that kind of stuff. This is useful sometimes because you can find out people that you may want to follow by looking at people that other people you respect and, and, and want to follow are already following. So, for example, we can also look at Matt Hancock. Um, so our current Secretary of State for Health and Social Care. Um, slightly different picture. So he's got 67,000 followers. Can't expect as our Secretary of State to have a few more than the average person. Um, only follows a thousand though in comparison. So these are the people that he sees um, for their feeds for sharing information and you know news kind of stuff. So we've got the Nuffield Trust, got King's Fund, we've got other politicians like uh, Norman Lamb on there, for example. Yeah, uh, interesting to know who people follow. Um, if you were to look go further though, you can have a look at your own profile. And this is always worth looking at. So if we look at mine, um, so you can see I've got my banner and my avatar that we discussed in our video from last week on how to set up Twitter and my bio. So GP with intellect and geeky style, the Time Lord and the magic and presence and beard of Gandalf. Tweets by Dr. H. Gandhi, Nottingham, owner of EGP Learning and S1 Facebook group. And I've got a link to my website and details about me. Um, I've got my followers and as you can see, I'm slightly lacking compared to other people. But hey, you never know. One day I may get to the accolades of someone like Justin Bieber. Yeah, right. Um, the other thing you can see is uh, your tweets. Um, so these are the actual messages that you've been putting out yourself. And this is useful to see what either you've retweeted, liked or tweeted. Um, the second part is the tweets and replies. So sometimes Twitter doesn't keep all your tweets in the same place. This is the tab that allows you to see all the tweets and more importantly, the replies that you have put or other people if you're looking at somebody else's profile. Um, media, so these are the tweets that contain media. As you can see, this is last week's um, uh, Tip Thursday um, tweet that I put out and your likes as well. Um, other things you can do, um, so we talked about lists last time. So I've created a variety of lists that people can follow. And if you click onto them, this gives you information um, from those particular people. So on this particular list, the UK, Dr. Gandalf UK Primary Care, I've got a list of people. Um, so these are people I think that you may want to follow us if you're interested in primary care and their tweets that they have and number of subscribers and stuff. So do feel free to subscribe to that. It's a good list and I always add on to it in more detail as need be. Uh, we've also got more information such as bookmarks, which we covered earlier, uh, that you may have created and other kind of functions and your settings and stuff. I won't go into this because it's a bit more um, personal and higher kind of level and stuff, but always happy to talk about it if you want to. So I hope you found that useful. Um, in terms of actually creating a tweet, well, what do we do with that? So I talked about looking at the anatomy of a tweet. And this is it. So if you click on the um, quill kind of icon, um, little blue one in the bottom corner, or if you go to the top of your profile and just simply start typing and what's happening um, on the app, it's just the blue quill. You're presented with what you can do to create a tweet. So you can write whatever you want. So hi, hashtag EGP learners. How are you doing? Hope you are enjoying this hashtag tip Thursday. Okay, uh, so that's a simple tweet. As you can see, as I was typing, this little round icon in the bottom right hand corner, corner started to fill up with blue. And um, once you get towards the 280 uh, character limit, that will go red. Prior to that, it will go yellow when you've got about 20 characters left to go. So it gives you a, a numerical value of that. Important to note, because 280 characters is your limit, um, and you can put a variety of different things on there. So um, follow you can put somebody's name. So if I was to put EGP Learning, which is um, uh, the platform uh, name for mine, um, if you want, uh, or subscribe at, and you can put a web link, bit.ly slash tip Thursday.
YouTube. So if you want to watch this video um, and that will take you straight through to it. Um, and that all counts to your word count. Um, you can also add a variety of different other things. So you can put images. So the scenery icon takes you through to your hard drive to look at um, photos or videos. Photos, you can put multiple. Um, videos, uh, you can only put the one. Um, you can add a GIF. So if I was to type in, follow me, and I'm going to go for the Lawrence Fishburne GIF because it's kind of cool. Um, and there you can see that's been added in. Important to recognize that once you've added one form of media, it won't allow you to add another one. So the other one that we have here is also polls. So you can add a poll um, to ask a question and you can set those for timings, that kind of stuff. But what if you have more you want to say? I mean, Twitter is meant to be a concise medium of uh, talking to people, but sometimes you do want to put more information. Well, you can add a string of, of tweets or a thread together. And that's by clicking on this blue plus icon here. And then you can add another tweet. Um, they are kind of linked together, but I, if I was to use this function, one thing I always do is I put the numbers at the bottom. So one out of two, two out of two, for example, just to signify that it is a, a string of tweets. Um, but yeah, then you can do that and you can tweet. And if we do that, my Twitter tweet's gone. Um, as you can see, it's now in my thread. And if I was to search for Tip Thursday, well, it's not top one, but it is, hopefully, the latest one okay it may take a minute longer to come through and stuff but yeah effectively it will come up on the um hashtags there we go as you can see just needed a second to update um and that is the anatomy of the tweet as i said this allows you to do a variety of different things um uh, when you're tweeting and things um i hope you guys have found this interesting Next week, I'll be covering in more detail how you can use Twitter as a clinician specifically. So various different people you may want to follow, various different ways you can use it as part of your CPD. Um, and also, you know, why you'd want to in the first place in a bit more detail. Um, as always, you guys are welcome to follow me. Uh, so you can subscribe to watch the videos at YouTube um, or you can listen to the podcasts on iTunes, Podbean and Spotify. Feel free to contact me. So Twitter's probably best route. Hey, if you're watching this video, you're probably doing it already. And that's either at EGP Learning or at Dr. Gandalf 52. More than happy to give you any comments or hints and tips as you may want or need. Um, so yeah, guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, comment, share, keep EGP Learning. See you later. Bye.